the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Hi, uh, welcome to episode three of the Educate Taylor's Version podcast. Hello, ladies. Hi, Hello. Kate. Hi, Jess. Hi. Hi, Lizzie. Hi. Now, I have to say, I don't really know much about what we're going to be doing today. I'm flying blind, I think you call it. So, what do you got? So, we're going to be talking about sluts today. Oh. And I'm not joking. Really? Yeah. So it's a bit of an intervention, isn't it? Sorry, I just want to. Why are you you looking at me like that? I really don't like that word. So why are we talking about it? So 1989 Taylor's version is about to be released in three days, which is very exciting. It was initially released in 2014. Yep. And with each Taylor's version album that she does, she releases usually anywhere between one and five volt tracks. Mm -hmm. So tracks that she wrote at the time. Of when she was writing the initial album. But they didn't make the album. They didn't make it. So one of the vault tracks coming up is titled Slut! Exclamation mark. That doesn't sound very Taylor. It well, really doesn't. I mean, if we're talking exclamation marks, it does. We do remember me, exclamation yep. mark, the uh, lead track from the Lover album. Mm-hmm. But in terms of, you know, leading with a phrase like slut, yeah. that's not very tasty. I don't even but think But in I a way, in a way, this is my argument of why I love it, and mm. it might help you love it too. I think it's all about reclaiming that sort of... She's been called a slut pretty much her whole life, mm. and so in a way it's like... Well, you're calling me this anyway. I may as well run with it. I'm going to take charge of it. And take the power back. Well, they really have. I mean, one of the things, even if you don't know much about Taylor Swift or you've been on the periphery, the one common theme, I suppose, is that she's always been sold in as the girl who dated lots of boys and could never keep a man. Yeah, You know, exactly. or, or would date and then write songs about it or, you know. So I guess in some ways telling stories like that is, is naming and shaming somebody totally. in that way. The interesting thing that I've been seeing on Swift Talk, yep. which is... Swifty TikTok yeah. is that when she released 1989, she did a huge Bad yes. Blood music video, which was truly iconic. Like it was oh, with one all of, the girls, yeah, in one it. of all the, the best girlies. videos. The yeah, squad I, at the time, wasn't I have it? Yeah. seen that, and they were all super superhero style, yeah. yeah, just like incredible, crazy, amazing. You want to throw up kind of vibe. Apparently, for the slut music video, she's bringing back all of the Bad Blood Girl Squad, Swifty Squad cast to be in the slut video. So who would that include? Was that Gigi Hadid? Gigi Hadid. We've got uh, Mariska Hargitay, Jessica Alba, Ellen Pompeo, Cindy Crawford, Cara Delevingne, Zendaya. Was Carly Kloss in it? She was. This is where it gets a bit controversial, doesn't mm-hmm. it, Lizzie? Mm-hmm. Okay, because there hasn't been a lot of to see it. There hasn't been a lot of contact between them. And not only that, and I think Lizzie's going to go into this. Mm. The night that she was at the Eras tour was the night that the 1989 re-release was announced. So was oh, that an right. Easter egg? You know, we know that Taylor loves to plant Easter eggs. Was Carly showing up there at that concert when she announced the album an Easter egg that she's all good with Carly and she's going to be in this video clip? What I think do you yes. think? I think yes. Yeah. Because everyone was trying to work out why was she there. It kind of didn't make much it was sense very at the weird. time. Why would she pop up on that day? Exactly. And that, you know, that day of all days. And then I think people started to connect the dots. So to have her there the night she's announcing it, everyone said this means something. They just couldn't quite work out what. And I think this might be it, Lizzie. Yeah, I think so. And if it happens, more throwing up from me. <laughs> I, I think it'd be great die. to see them all together because whether you're a fan or not, that clip it was amazing. Iconic. Kind of reminded me of, um, and now this might be showing my my age, <laughs> but like, you know the George Michael clip that had all the supermodels in it? Oh, Kate, sorry. So sorry. <laughs> We, I don't know how to say this politely, but we are a lot younger than you. I was born you know, like in 96. The, okay, well, oh, I was born in 91. Oh, no. Well, and these Taylor are like, was born in 1989. Uh, well, the supermodels of the 90s, like Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, Christy Turlington, like all, all of those, and they did a clip. With, I think it was either Too Funky or... Um, I thought that was stories. Duran Duran. No, it wasn't Duran Duran. And what were they all dancing in? But it was, it was that kind of and... shiny, amazing, mm. like goddess-like, video clip Legs and for that's days. yeah that's what bad blood <laughs> reminded me of when i saw it but you've just made it very clear that i was born in 1978 the thing with taylor as well with music videos is that's her thing isn't it she's now directing them all yeah. she's super close to the cinematography of all of them and the easter eggs that are in them are endless the other thing that i can't not mention about 
1989 Taylor's version. <sighs> if she releases a vault track featuring Harry Styles, I'm sorry, that will be the end of me personally and I think a lot of other Swifties. What do you mean Harry Styles, uh, uh, oh. like collaborating or just a song about Harry Styles? So 1989 is very Harry Styles-esque. Okay. They've both confirmed it in interviews, things like that. It's being teased that she might collab with Harry Styles on 1989. And if that happens... I'm, I won't be here. You don't, is this, what do you mean I won't be here? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's going to be, I can't, the world will shut down. It will be the best thing to ever happen, oh. but it will send, I, I will have like a year long conniption. <laughs> I think we need to get you, you know that they do AI versions of songs now. There already is a Taylor and Harry duet. I have seen that. Is yeah. there? Yeah, and it sounds amazing. All right, well, that's my homework. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Uh, well, next time we speak, the album will be out. So, ladies, I hope you enjoy, and we will regroup to discuss the vault tracks. Bitsy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.